Hello my loves, I am going to be doing a get ready with me and a QA and a all in one video today. I know I look a mess, I've literally just come straight out of the shower, but we move. It's mum life, not really much you can do about it. <laughs> I'm just shoving my hair up out of the way and then I will get into some of the questions. Does anyone else lose their eyebrow brush more than any other brush? I swear to God. Oh, found it. Also, a big thank you to everybody who sent questions in over on my Instagram. Without the questions, there'd be no video, so thank you. I'm just going to use my Trusty Bear Brows by Unicorn Cosmetics. I used to use the Beauty Crop one, but I actually prefer this one. I feel like it doesn't leave like a residue. The first question I'm going to answer is, what is the hardest part about being a mum? I feel like this is quite a hard question to answer because everybody's answer is going to be different. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore being a mum. I feel like it was my sole purpose in life. But if I'm talking on a personal level, I'd probably say the hardest part about being a mum for me personally, the fact that none of my close friends actually have children. So yeah, I'd probably say the hardest part about being a mum would be that. But also, I mean, if you asked me when Alfie was a newborn, I probably would have said that the hardest part was the sleepless nights and the lack of independence. You obviously always have somebody to rely on you, which takes a little bit of getting used to. Once you're used to it, it's fine. I wouldn't have it any other way now, but at the beginning, it was quite tough. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using the NYX Lift and Snatch pen in the shade Ash Brown. This is my absolute ride or die i couldn't live without this the next question i'm going to answer is what was going through your mind when you got a positive test it's actually such a funny story how i ended up taking a pregnancy test with alfie basically i used to vape and i don't mean like the little five pound elf bars i mean like a proper vape i was looking for a spare coil because my coil had run out and i found a pregnancy test and i'd actually taken one two weeks earlier hold on let me just wet my sponge just priming my face using this wet and wild primer serum i was looking for a coil for my vape and i found a pregnancy test i'd done one two weeks earlier and it was negative but i just thought i need to get this pregnancy test out of the way like i need to get it out my drawer so i did it and it was positive yeah always trust your instincts i'm telling you I think because it was such a shock, I genuinely can't remember a lot of what was going through my mind. But I called Alfie's dad straight away and was like, I'm pregnant. And he didn't really seem that bothered at the beginning. But obviously the fear set in after a while. I'm going to put some of my collection filter finish in the shade Fair Medium. So obviously I was very, very shocked. I was scared. I didn't even think I could get pregnant. I know it's not very nice to talk about, but I was doing the deed unprotected for around five years and nothing ever happened. So I just assumed that I couldn't have children. I know that's very naive of me, but a lot of my friends were telling me, you must not be able to have children. Not my current friends, don't worry. But they were like, yeah, definitely. Like you need to get it checked and stuff. So for me, it was a massive shock because I just, I didn't think that it was possible for me. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. camo concealer in the shade light beige just to brighten up some areas and conceal. So the next question is, what are your fave baby names? Well, for Alfie, I loved Alfie from the beginning. I just had this attachment to the name. I basically named him while I was pregnant, um, but I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to name him that until I saw him. So I didn't really tell anyone. If Alfie was a girl, the name that I was set on for him would have been Clover. And there's a reason for that. Obviously, if you follow me on TikTok or know me personally, you'll know about the fact that I got told that I had a miscarriage and I was unaware that I was still pregnant for five weeks of my pregnancy with Alfie during the first trimester. Me and Alfie's dad had actually discussed names that we would like for our child, both male and female. One of the ones we really liked was Clover. And obviously, because all this stuff happened with being told I was going to have a miscarriage and everything, once I found out that I was still pregnant, I thought, if it's a girl, it has to be Clover, because Clover is a symbol of luck. So I was set on the name Clover for Alfie if he was a girl, but obviously he was a boy, and I'm not going to lie, I had no boy names in my mind at the time, obviously. The only one that me and Alfie's dad had spoke about that we agreed on was Alfie. So I'm just going to set that concealer with my Vitamin Babe Beauty Crop Powder in the shade Fair One and my little Real Techniques brush. So yeah, I really, really loved Arabella as well for a girl. I really loved Teddy, Theodore, Albie. I know quite a lot of those names are quite popular now, so I actually don't know what I would call my girl or boy if I had a baby now. I, know I wouldn't call my future girl, if I do have one, Clover, because that was supposed to be Alfie's name if he was a girl. So I wouldn't want to like put that name onto another child, if you know what I mean. 
I'm not gonna do any contouring because I'm just staying in the house today and I feel like it just slips off my face sometimes. So keep it kind of light, I'm just gonna put some blush on. This is the Berry Merry by e.l.f. Blush. It's a little bit dark for me, but it's got a really nice shimmer to it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my cheeks. If you could go back and tell yourself anything while in the newborn stage, what would it be? This question is from Holly. Hello, Holly, I absolutely love you. This is also such a good question because I feel like it can really help other mums that may need a little bit of reassurance. I'm just gonna put a little bit of liquid highlighter on the end of my nose and up the bridge. I don't even know what this highlighter is. It's so old, because this is the only thing that I use it for. I feel like if I could go back and talk to myself while I was in the newborn stage, I would tell myself not to worry it's gonna be fine. I feel like it's something that I haven't been extremely open about, but I really, really struggled in the early days of postpartum with Alfie when he was a newborn. I ended up actually having to go to the doctors and I'm still on medication now to control my moods. I'm obviously not recommending everybody to do this. Like medication isn't for everybody. And you know, if you can find another route, an alternative route, great. But I also feel like it's really, really shunned. I just feel like everybody says to try and do something else and go down a different route. But for me, it has been the best thing ever. I just put some of the number 17 Light Reflect liquid highlighter on my cheeks. But I think it was just such a big shock going into motherhood. Nobody can prepare you for it. No matter how many times I was told your whole life is gonna be turned upside down, there is nothing that can prepare you for it. it. Saved me so much grief and so much distress. And I'm just, I, I'm so, so glad that I did it. I'm obviously not recommending it. I'm just saying, don't be ashamed. Like there's nothing to be ashamed of. It's perfectly fine to admit that you need help. And I'm so glad that I did. For any new mums out there, please, please, please seek help if you feel like you need it. My anxiety was so, so bad. And I'm so glad that I ended up doing something about it because I don't know where I'd be today if I didn't. It's so important, talk to your doctor, talk to your mental health team, talk to your health visitor. I would say by around two months old, I had perfectly adjusted to life with a newborn baby. And I felt a lot more confident with it. I am just gonna do the tiniest bit of nose contour using my Hula by Benefit and this little fluffy brush. It's an eyeshadow brush, but it's just easier. As much as bronzer like comes off my face and stuff, I just feel like this is such a crucial step in my makeup, no matter how natural it is. I'm also just gonna put the same bronzer through my crease and use the same brush because I'm lazy. So the next question is, how do you cope with Alfie going to his dad's? How did you come up with how often he went? So at the beginning, it was tricky. At the very beginning, Alfie's dad came round to mine every single day for two weeks, whether I was upstairs sleeping. I suppose he just wanted to form that immediate bond with him, which, you know, is fair enough. So that happened. And then I would say for the first month, even two months, I think it was two months, we basically devised a schedule for Alfie's dad to come round three days a week when he finished work to see Alfie. So we decided Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, because Monday's the beginning of the week, Wednesday is the middle of the week, and then Saturday is like a couple of days after. So we thought it's an evenly spread out routine. I'm gonna use some of my waterproof Maybelline Sky High for my mascara. I will be putting on lashes, so I won't be doing my mascara properly, if that makes sense. So yeah, his dad would come around here three days a week and see him for a couple of hours. And I think when Alfie was around two months old, we decided that it was time for him to start going to his dad and for his dad to start taking him out. This is when I started pumping milk so Alfie's dad could have him for a little bit longer throughout the day. And you know, it's difficult, it, it really is. Having to give your baby to somebody else, whether that be the father, anybody, it is hard because he was a part of me for 10 months and having that being taken away physically from me was difficult. At the same time, you have to remember that if they are capable and they are a good parent, why wouldn't you? Obviously, I'm not here to judge anybody's situations. You do whatever is best for you. But in my situation, even though me and Alfie's dad weren't together and haven't been together since before I even found out I was pregnant, in that little time period between when he was coming round here and when he would take him out, he proved to me that he was more than capable to look after our son. I remember the first day I let him go to his dad's and his dad's is literally just up the road from me. And I cried. I cried for ages because I missed him. I was scared. Now I feel like it's just normal. When he goes off on days with his dad, you know, I wave him off, I say goodbye, I give him a kiss and he goes and he spends time with his cousins. You know, he doesn't have cousins on my side. He has cousins on his dad's. So that's really nice for him. Nice for him to spend time with the other side of his family and to get to know the other side of his family. I'm just going to use my vitamin B, but vitamin C setting mist to set all of that together. 
oh my god i'm running out no so the next question is any plans for tattoos i would absolutely love tattoos my best friend akira has actually just got three butterflies or two butterflies i can't remember on the back of her neck to symbolize alfie and that's because when i thought that i had the miscarriage there were these butterflies and they were following me and i searched it up and the spiritual meaning of it is internal growth i'm sorry but how mad is that if you don't believe in that sort of stuff cool but i personally do and i was shocked so i would love something along those lines maybe a butterfly or a bear or both together because i call him my alfie bear i call him bear quite a lot i used to want loads of tattoos but i really don't know now we'll have to see what the future holds i definitely do want something to symbolize alfie and i do want something with my best friend akira but we're not sure what yet but i'll have to wait until i stop breastfeeding i think anyway so I've just glued these pre-glued lashes. Even though they're pre-glued, I do like to put an extra layer of glue on just because they become a little bit unsticky after a while. So the last question I'm going to answer is, how are you finding still living at home and raising Alfie at home? I hope you are okay. Someone has decided to come and join the party, haven't you? He's refusing to go for a nap, so. <laughs> so just quickly answering that last question. I do find it hard having to raise Alfie at home. As much as I love it because I love my family and my family's bond with Alfie is amazing. I do crave my own space and me and Charlie obviously want space to cook and sit downstairs and it does become a bit of a pain when you're sharing a room with a baby when they're a little bit older. Obviously when he was a newborn, it was absolutely fine, but now it's a bit more of a struggle. Careful. I wish I could just give him his own room and his own space but at the same time I'm so so grateful for what I have because I know a lot of people struggle to even find somewhere to live so I do feel lucky that I at least do have my own room. I know a lot of people don't get their own bathroom either and I have that so I'm really lucky for that too. It's just a shame that we don't have a spare room in our house but we'll see what happens. I mean I'm not rushing it but it's something that's on the list to do. So that was just a quick get ready with me for every day. Nothing too dramatic, just making myself look and feel a little bit better as it's quite important for mums, I think. I know quite a lot of you ask questions, so don't worry, I will save some of them for another Q&A video. But thank you to everybody who sent questions in. I really, really appreciate it. I'm gonna leave my Instagram and TikTok on screen and in the description, so please check both of those out. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will be back soon with another video.